Welcome, as you can see by looking at my arms, it's getting warmer in Egypt and that's why it's an excellent day to start our topic on community frequency. And um, this is still part of uh, statistics and um, as I will show you, what is community frequency? Well, community means adding or on top of them and it is adding the frequencies as you go along. Yeah, and that will make uh, more sense in a minute when I show you an example question. And the types of questions you're going to answer when looking at those community frequency graphs is like, what is the median of a set of data? We're going to be talking about lower and upper quartiles and the interquartile range, yeah? Those are the questions you're going to get, and it will make sense uh, very soon. So, if I just take that away, and I have here a piece of graph paper, and uh, I have a frequency table. Uh, let, let's start with the frequency table. Okay, now let's say the question is uh, the amount of time it takes uh, for students to go uh, home uh, walking, okay? And uh, between zero and five hours, which is quite long by the way, but anyway, uh, two of my students had a frequency is two. And between five and 10 hours for kids to walk home, another six students will belong uh, to that group, yeah? Between 10 and 15, eight students. And as you can see, that is the frequency table. Now, commutative frequency is adding the frequencies, yeah? So I have a, a different um, column here, CF, commutative frequency. And in total, yeah, at the beginning, you've got to start somewhere, it is two, okay? But for my next row, it is not going to be six, no, commutative, so adding, it is two plus six, so it is eight. Yeah, so if you like, from zero to 10, I'll have eight students, yeah? So between zero and 10 hours walking home, eight students in total, commutative. Yeah, in the next group, so that's going to be 8 plus another 8, eh, up to 15, so 16 students, cumulative. Eh? I could also do 2 plus 6 plus 8, yeah, but you might as well do 8 plus 8 is 16. So the next one, 16 plus 11, is going to be 27 students, 27 plus 11, it's going to be 38, 38 plus 8, 46, and 46 plus 4, 50. And then I ask you the question already, how many students did I ask how long it takes for them to walk home? Yeah, so how many students did I interview? And in total, I indeed asked 50 students, okay? So 50 students take between zero and 35 hours to walk home, yeah? And this is the, what we call cumulative frequency, adding the frequencies as we go along. All right, now, so I prepared already uh, these axes because now I'm going to plot these points. Yeah, and it's going to start in the origin over here. There we go. And then from zero to five, the community frequency says two. So uh, five hours, two people. Now I'm going to look carefully because I try to do this as accurately as I can, but my 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 ink has a certain thickness. But anyway, from five uh, to one, two, three, four is ten. So one is two and a half. So a little bit less, yeah? You can do a better job with a sharp pencil. You gotta use a sharp pencil, huh? From five to 10, the cumulative frequency is an eight. So at point 10, I'm gonna do eight. So a little bit more than seven and a half for me, okay? From 10 to 15, the cumulative frequency says 16. Uh, so at 15, I have 16 people, 10, 15 over there. And 27 is my next class. 20, 20, 27. We're gonna do it as accurately um, over here. All right. Uh, 2025. The community frequency is 38. So at 25, I'm just gonna move that one to there. 38. And it's easy to make a silly mistake now. Right? So careful that you pull it carefully uh, or properly. 30, 35, 7.5, 38. Okay. Then 46 up to 30, 46, let me pull that one, 40, 45, 46. And at 35, it is 50, that's my last one. 50, let me pull that properly, that is then over there. Now, I'm going to graph it now uh, with a very thick uh, marker, yeah? So it's not gonna look very good. Uh, you will do a better job, but it will look roughly like this. All right, there we go. And with community frequencies, always the graph looks roughly like an S, eh? like I see here now. Eh? So whenever you see a graph like that, you know, oh, community frequency. Of course, you label your axis, time in hours, and community frequency on the vertical axis, eh? the Y axis. 
and you add up all the frequencies and then those are the points you plot. Okay, now the next video, I'm going to look at this particular graph and I'm going to say something about the median, the quartiles and the interquartile range while looking at this particular graph, which is the time it takes for students to walk home. So I'll see you at my next video or go to my site explainingmaths.com, find me on Facebook or Twitter for more information. See you later.